Crystal Bello. And I'm Dr. Vicki Bello, welcoming you to the new season of Bella Beauty 101. This season will be filled with Bella beautiful stories and astonishing summer surprises. For our 12th season, we will continue our journey in beauty and style as we discover Mega Manila's fantastic destinations and hidden gems. So come and join us in this Bellarific journey. Have a vision to make the Philippines the most beautiful country in the world one person at a time Our vision. to deliver the latest innovations and ensure top-notch service with our 1,000 strong Bello team we want to help every Filipino and every Filipina become the best version of themselves. Aiming to transform lives beyond beauty and give back to the community. Sharing our vision. Our passion. Our big dream. Here at Bella Beauty 101. Let's jumpstart our season here at this idyllic countryside sanctuary that's perfect for solace seekers and lovers alike. Let's experience the pristine beauty of nature here at Hacienda Isabella. Owned and designed by OPM icon and pop diva Kula Desma, this scenic events venue and private resort provides a beautiful setting for picture-perfect moments that you'll surely remember forever. Without a doubt, Hacienda Isabella's dreamlike ambiance makes a fascinating backdrop for fulfilling a romantic fantasy. Speaking of romance, our first feature for the season was a visual spectacle that could only appear in the pages of a fairy tale. Let's look back at the moments leading to the most talked about and well-attended wedding of the century. Now here's your exclusive sneak peek into hashtag Ako and my beloved, the Hayden Co Jr. and Vicky Bella nuptials. Watch this. Twelve years ago, in a far Once away upon land. a time, thirteen years now. Thirteen years ago, thirteen years ago, we met in UST. We were both judging a beauty contest for for UST medicine. Yeah. I got bored and I struck up a conversation with him. I said, "No, because when he arrived, everybody was clapping so loud." Doctor Hayden called, "Wah, Junior, I a consultant or something." So tina nung kasi. Are you, what's your specialty? Sabi niya, oh, no, I'm the president of the Interns Association in Makati, man. Intern, yeah. So I've got Interns Association. 25. 25. 25. Well, that was the start of it. And then after that, after a few we months, we became friends. We became now. very good friends. Because uh -oh. Makati Med, I was an intern in Makati Med, and one of our clinics was in front of Makati Med, which is Medical Plaza. That was like, evolve, evolve na lang, yeah. bigla na lang, ewan. Ano na <laughs> And we, we thought it was time to, to get married. Um, for many reasons, Pinaka primary reason is because of our faith. We believe that it would be God glorifying if we, we finally get married. And second, of course, we also have our little daughter, Scarlett Snow. We want her to have a complete family. So we just wanted to set, put things in order. Parang on and off for many, many years, and we just couldn't live without each other. So we decided, parang, hello, I'm meant for you, you're meant for me. Let's get married. <laughs> Actually, our plans when we got together, of course, the age difference. Mm -hmm. We didn't really think it would last a long time. Mm -hmm. Things kept happening, and then finally we got deeper and deeper into the relationship. I think the longest we were apart was like six, six months. Mm -hmm. Since we got back together again, you know, I, at least my mind changed. And I thought, what, what, what if I stop thinking about us breaking up? Why don't I start thinking that maybe we can make it? Hayden has really proven himself to be there through good times and bad times. The lesson here is if you find that one person who knows you the most and accepts you just the way you are, that person you should never lose. Steve Vicky was that person who knows me the most. That's a keeper. You're a Aww, keeper. That's so me. I love you. Now 
here's an exclusive look into what Dr. Vicky Bello and Dr. Hayden Co did to look amazing for their fairy tale union. Up next on Bello Beautiful Story. Good day, this is Dr. Hayden Cole, and it's a pleasant day to tell you about something personal and worth sharing. Come with me. So today I'm here at the Mellow Medical Group in Greenbelt, Makati to share with you my top most secrets in looking good and feeling confident anytime, any day. So how important is it to look good on your special day? Well, for me, I don't really feel comfortable being the focus of attention. But of course, it's our wedding day and Vicky and I for sure will be the center of attention. So I really prepared. Months before the wedding, I secretly underwent several treatments in Bello Medical Group and I'm going to tell you about it. So the first thing that happens when you visit any Bello Medical Clinic is that you see a doctor. Hi, good morning. Good Welcome morning, to Bello. Morning, How are morning. you? Good, lagi po yat. So as you can see my, my eyes, parang nagpapanda eyes already. I'll try to assess your skin first. So, okay. so, relatively good skin, no active pimples. There are just few comedones which are we call blackheads and whiteheads. We can have a good facial cleaning. Now, for the sagging skin, I would recommend Thermod. And then, other than that, to address the concern for the uneven skin tone or the darkness under the eyes, that's when we do angel whitening for the eyes. Okay, that's so, one I haven't tried. So, angel whitening, or we call it panda eye procedure, is a fuse switch and diag type of laser. It will break down the pigments to make it more lighter and glowy. Okay, awesome. So, here we are. We'll be doing the thermage of my face. This thermage will lift my face. This is called the non-surgical face lift. So the thermage is the radio frequency used for skin tightening to address the sagging cheeks or skin of the patient. But first, we're going to put on grid markings for the face for bulk heating procedure. And then we're going to use CPT or Comfort Pulse technology. It has cooling before, during, and after the procedure so that the patient can tolerate the procedure well. It's completely painless. Um, you don't need anesthesia, you don't need sedation, and it's, what, you can finish this in an hour? In an hour, in and an then hour. you'll just feel mild, deep, brief heat sensation at each pulse. Mm -hmm. Let's get it on. So I'm 37 now, and one of the problem signs of aging is dark under eyes because of a lot of stress and and you know, unhealthy lifestyle and all of that. So I do use a lot of um, eye creams, but this one is more efficient. So we're going to use the Photona Star Walker for angel whitening to address the dark circles under the eyes. And then we're going to use this metallic spoon to protect the eyes of the patient. During the procedure, we'll feel heat and a little bit of snaps, but very tolerable. It's a comfortable procedure. Supposed to last for three to five minutes only, and then we're done. That's it. I'd like to show you the effect and compare it to the other side of the eye. I can see it. This is more brighter, smoother. 25, 35. We only have one face and one body. And for me, going to Bello is one way of taking care of my face and my body. And so my advice to all the grooms, all the men who are going to get married, prepare yourselves spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and of course, prepare yourself also physically because you want to look your best during your wedding. And one way you can do that, of course you work out, but you can also go to Bello and do some, if you need some help, you can, you can do the treatments that I did. And now, from my very satisfied self, I'd like to introduce to you the woman who's in charge of spreading beauty and confidence among all Filipinos. The woman who built this beauty empire, my beloved wife, Dr. Vicky Bello. Hi guys, I hope you're all having a Bello beautiful day as you kick off the 12th season of Bello Beauty 101. I'm here at the Greenbelt branch of the Bello Medical Group because this is where I had my project marriage where I tried to do all the treatments that would help me look my best on my wedding day. 
Hi everyone, this is Dr. Jenny from the Green Belt Clinic. She's the head of the clinic and she's going to put stem factors on my face. Stem factors are factors that stimulate collagen and elastin and peptides and amino acids. And she's going to do it with a, what do you call that pen? Microneedling. Microneedling, yon. So it's very easy. I don't have anesthesia. It doesn't even hurt at all. And let's and it will tighten my face and my neck. Ito ang problema dito lumalabas ang aging. Go! Do you see it? My right side is more lifted than my left. A little red, but you can see already it's beginning to work. Okay, she's, she's marking all my wrinkles. In order to get rid of my neck wrinkles, you have to also Botox. Why should a bride trust herself to Bella before her big wedding day? I think the wedding day is the most important day of your life. At least in terms of photographs, attention, videographs, everybody's looking at you. And you have to look your best. And when you have to look your best, you have to go to a clinic that has been there for a long, long time, that knows what they're doing, that has a lot of patience, so they have a lot of experience. So trust your one and only face to Bello on your most important day. Terrified of the sun? Shy to show off your body? Anxious with summer? Well, don't be. Wait, I'm just gonna put sunblock. Bella presents Girls of Summer. Hi guys, I'm Janine Gutierrez. Hey guys, it's me, Jess Wilson. And we're here on location shooting the Bella Summer Campaign. Achieve that silky smooth glowing skin and get that toned and sexy body that you will surely be proud to show off in the summer heat. Worry no more with Bello Summer Treatments. Let's take a look at Dr. Vicky Bella and Dr. Hayden Co. Jr.'s nuptials with never-before-seen footage of their dreamlike wedding ceremony and wedding reception. Watch this! Paris because it's our favorite city. It is our favorite city. It actually started small and then, of course, when we were, when we were doing the guest list, pahaba din ng pahaba. And then Vicky thought, Teka, if we're going to do a wedding in Paris in a hotel and another ballroom, why just why why not do it in Manila? Na lang anyway, it looks the same. So we had to find a new venue. Her wow. sister suggested about a thousand times to do it in Paligarnie in the Opera House. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to hashtag Ako and my beloved. When she saw the Paligani, she fell in love with it. This is the perfect place. So of course the dream wedding should be it should happen. Hayden did everything. I booked her makeup artist. I booked the <laughs> photographer. I told him rather than fight because I knew we would. He has his own ideas and I have mine. I told him, "Ikaw na sa wedding. The only thing I'm going to do is try to look pretty and try to look younger." The best part of the wedding is the wedding ceremony itself. A lot of guests were crying. My focus at that time was Vicky. And it was so funny, I remember when I was there standing, and before Vicky came, I so And then the door opened, and I saw Vicky, and then I finally I relaxed. Only when I saw her face. I 
delicacy being the center of attention, it makes me very uncomfortable. So I have to say that I wasn't a cooperative bride. Ayoko magpa picture, and I kept telling them, go to Hayden's room, go to Hayden's room, just take there. I was scared because, you know, am I doing the right thing? Meron na namang doubts, diba? The only time I really felt so happy was when I saw him na. So he came, it was nice that it was Quark who brought me to Hayden and gave me away. This, well, I this felt is the same way. This is something beautiful about, about it now. When, when we're together, it's peaceful. It's my camper is already here. I shouldn't feel worried because she's smiling, she's happy. And you know, it's just right. made, yeah. made me complete, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. <laughs> um, but you wrote a very beautiful vow. The whole time, kasi, when we delivered our, our vows, we were just looking at each other's eyes. No notes, no nothing, just, just the two of us. We've been together for 12 years, and it's been a tough journey. Full of, it's full of ups and downs, and laughters and tears. You saw me at my best, and you saw me at my worst. <laughs> I stay there. <laughs> <laughs> and to be honest, until now, I, I still don't know what you really see in me. But yes, when you look at me, this is what you tell me that affirms me so much. You see the man that I only that I can only hope to be. A man of talents, at heart, kindness, and potential for great things. But you, Vicky, I want you to know that when I look at you, I only see love. Yes, your looks are lovely, your, <laughs> your eyes are sparkling, your body. I wanted to say you seductive, but Therabi said, change it to irresistibly alluring. <laughs> Oh, that's a question we have to answer. No, what I feel is love, because like love, you never give up on anyone. You never give up on me. You ask me how I know I love you. My answer is this: I know I love you because I can't live without you. I don't did you understand any of my vows because the whole time I was just crying. Whole whole. <laughs> Yung kaba comes from can I fulfill my vows? You know, when I say walang iwanan through thick and thin, because you, you are delivering it as a vow in front of the Lord. And I think that meant so much to me when his father spoke, because to have the, the guts to, to speak and then to offer me, then and to tell him how proud he is of Hayden. Dun ako talagang nako na touch. I'm here to share with everyone what a fine man of my son has become. Jun Jun, my son. I just want you to know, I'm so proud to be your father. One of our missions as good parents is raising their kids to be better persons of themselves. I can't help but think of myself as a huge success. Up next, the newlyweds' message for a blissful marriage, only here on Bella BB 101. and everlasting love. More exclusive scenes from the most romantic wedding of the century. Let's watch this! You know, it made me so happy that people really enjoyed it. So we were surprised to invite a lot of people to go to Paris. The main criteria is we need friends in Paris. Well, of course, our best man was Anton San Diego, uh -huh. who is both a best man and at that time also a maid of honor. For the past 12 years, I've been privy to Hayden and Vicky's romantic, tumultuous, crazy, loving relationship. I really thought this wedding would never happen. But today they are here, a testament to love, persistence, and destiny. It's what God had intended. Our special guests, of course, my friends from, from childhood, my friends go from Grace Kitchen High School. So I was really touched because, of course, it's not a month cheap to go to, to Paris, but they all went. Friends from childhood, grade, mm -hmm. from the day I was born, I have a best friend like, from grade two was there, my best friend from med school. Of course, we also appreciate um, 
Yung pagdating ni na PJ, uh, I had the people si na Jody, who went for one day lang. Went, kasi they all went for one day. Si, si Derek, si Alden also Jenny went Lynn. for one day lang. Went to Paris yeah, and then talaga. went home. One, less than 24 hours. Of course, hours. there were other people who went. And you know, guys, we didn't pay for anybody's fare. Yeah, I was so touched mm -hmm. because to fly there, it's so far. So it was a si real and offer. Ogie didn't, and si Ogie yeah. Alcacid and Regine, we truly appreciate them. How sweet they, they agreed to host the event. And in Bilaan. fact, they even sang at the Opera House. And, and our foreign guests were uh, blown away by Regine's voice. Parang everything was just in place. The first dance in the song. So everything, everything about the wedding was well thought of. And that song that we chose is called Take Me As I Am. Sort of my, our song to each other, more specifically me. My song to her, na parang take me as I am. Me. I've been through all these things. I've done so many things that I'm ashamed of. But here I am, I present myself to you, take me as I am. We decided, why don't we record our, no, why don't we record our, our song? So, we voice lessons for three months. Dance choreography naman namin. We started rehearsing two, two months, months ba? Now, oh. We really rehearsed. And then it turned out very well. Pag ba namin, I felt confident nung, nung dance. Siya ni Jishil, ako kasi may difficult step. Parang lumilipad-lipad ako. And I always was so scared of that step. But that particular time, I was so relaxed and looking like a ballerina. Di ba? Mm. <laughs> Sige na. Parang stage namin yun eh. <laughs> I don't know, I just felt it was a beautiful wedding. People, of course, in the Philippines concentrate on the venue and the grandness of mm. it all. But for us, it was because we finally um, got married in front of our Lord. And then we could feel all the love from everyone. It was, it was magical, talaga. Of course, we felt elated that a lot of people are actually celebrating with us, uh, finally, our union. From this day on, may there be no more Team Vicky and Team Hayden. Help us to, be, to stay united in love. Pray for us. Guide us, because we need your love. And lastly, and this is the most important, if you found any encouragement from what you witnessed today in our union, Vicky and I would like you to know that it's really all because of Jesus. That we survived the challenges we faced and got reconciled in love. Everything here is because of Jesus. We are here today because of God. This is all God's doing. All glory goes back to Him. Jesus, we love you so much. And I guess what I want to say is that for those of you who are not yet married, who are planning to get married, if you find that person who, who really completes you, who you can't live without, that person is the person you should be with and always make God the third person in your relationship the wedding that's not the end of it all the, the most important thing is the marriage and marriage takes a lot of work um, self-reflection and, and the changing of oneself if, if necessary message to each other thank you for being such a wonderful husband mm. and an even more wonderful father thank you for making all the adjustments and trying to keep your vows and to make our marriage successful mm -hmm. Every day with you is very special to me and it gets better and better and I know and I hope that you will be happy not only in this life but for eternity. Amen. <laughs> and I want to say to you that you're looking younger and younger every day and you're getting better and better, more submissive every day, more loving, more kind, more caring and I thank you for for all the effort that you're doing para this, this relationship with you, you work and glorify God. I love you so much. I love you too. Hi. Don't cry. <laughs> and because I'm touched, it's okay. Don't Behind cry. the scene. Don't cry. I didn't cry in the wedding. I did a little, but not hagul hul. Congratulations to the newlyweds. Up next, I have exciting news that will definitely bring you bundles of joy. Only here on Bella Beauty 101. From one joyful family milestone to another, it's my biggest and warmest story to tell, the story of becoming a mother. My pregnancy story started actually in 2015. 
So, hindi pa kami engaged ni Justin. But at that time, alam ko na kasi I have PCOS or Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome. And ang ibig sabihin nito, the eggs don't grow and I don't ovulate. So, I knew that I was gonna have a hard time na getting pregnant. So, in 2015, I decided, let's go to science. The solution was to freeze your eggs. And then when the time came, nagpropose si Justin, nagpakasal kami, and then we enjoyed each other for one year first. After then, we decided, hey, I think it's time that we start trying to make a baby. They had to give his sperm. They put the sperm and egg together. So they fertilized it. That happened in 2017, October. So we were so happy because in the States, they're able to do genetic testing. So maganda talaga yung genes niya. Nakita namin yung embryos na nakuha namin is two boys. And Justin really, really wanted a boy. So they put the embryos inside me. Ang, ang pinakamahirap is the two-week wait. And then you have to do this blood test and that will tell you if you're pregnant or not. So naalala ko siya because we did it in St. Luke's one morning. And in the afternoon, Justin said, I have the results. When we opened the results, we saw that merong kumapit na baby. We didn't know if it was one or two. Pero at least alam namin na merong baby na nandun. It was such a special, special moment. And the only time we found out na isa lang yung kumapit is when we did our first ultrasound. Even though hindi twins, parang we are still so blessed and thankful na the Lord gave us one boy. So the first people to know, of course, was number one, my mom. As a matter of fact, she is the one who recommended the doctor. And this doctor was the one also who helped us create Scarlet Snow. So my mom, our family, Justin's family in Australia, tinawagan namin. Everyone was just so happy for us. I didn't announce to the public until I was five months. And the reason is because ayoko ng special treatment. Hinintay ko talaga till five months before I announce it to the world. We're having a baby. And it's a... <laughs> Boy! Boy. <laughs> Love you. It was very hard kasi people were telling me, tumataba ka. But now at least people know and understand. I'm researching a lot, so I hired a birthing coach because it's my first time. I really want to do water birth as much as possible because it's natural. Now, see, Justin is so involved in my pregnancy. Can you imagine all the food I eat? Kailangan if a picture ko sa kanya and send it to him. Because he's a cook, de ba? He's very, very conscious about nutrition, and I'm so happy because I'm not alone in this parenting, but I really have a partner with me. I'm expecting the baby on July 15, 2018. Right now, all I can hope for is that he comes out as a healthy, chubby, fat, cute boy. And guapo. <laughs> hey little guy, we're looking forward to meeting you. We can't wait to be your parents. Hopefully, uh, we get it right. But we're gonna try damn hard at it. <laughs> and I'm sure, uh, between the three of us, we'll come up with something really special. So, can't, oh, wait, can't wait to meet you. <laughs> to our baby Pip, I'm really, really looking forward to meeting you. I mean, we have been on this journey since 2015, and it's been a very, very long time. And, you know, even though you haven't been born, even before you were born, you're already loved and you're already expected by a lot of people. So, we can't wait to meet you, and we love you. We would like to thank Hacienda Isabella for warmly welcoming us into this restful haven. It's truly been the perfect spot for such an inspiring fairy tale. And thank you, Mommy. I'm so happy you finally were able to share your story with everyone. We're so thrilled to share our story with you because, of course, we feel like people who have been watching Bella Beauty 101 for the last 12 years are truly part of our family. Next week, our summer adventure begins with one of the most popular tourist attractions here in the Philippines, the second summer capital, Tagaytay. Please join us there. But before
before we end this episode, I heard that our little angel has something to sing for us. Let's do it. Five, six, seven, eight. Wipe hands before you eat. Wipe arms, legs, and feet. We and can touch messy things every day. So wipe the worries away. <laughs> Yay! Yay! This has been Crystal Bella. And I'm Dr. Vicky Bello with, with Scarlet, Scarlet Snow, Snow Bello. Bello. See you See next, next week. week. Bye. Bye. Flying kiss, everyone. Flying kiss. Look here, Scarlet. Tickle, 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 tickle,